And they were, then, within five minutes, there was an altercation between this lady and the, the lady that runs the salon, yeah. the, 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 yeah. the barbershop, sure. right? Look, the altercation was such that by the time she left there, eh, everybody was just, it's like, the rest of the conversation for 30 minutes was about this lady and how appalling she was. And it's like useless beauty. It's like, so, you know, you know, you know that, that, like, exactly. You know, exactly. Yeah, because, yeah, you know yeah. sometimes people look at you, mm. they, they grade you with what is inside, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and you realize that some, most of the times mm. the physical look does not really matter. No. Yes, I mean, the physical stuff is what mm. will attract somebody mm. to you. Mm. But mm. what is within is what will determine whether they will stay with you yeah. or they will not. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of people who do not have the physical looks, yeah. but they have such beautiful hearts, no, they have they beautiful characters, yeah. and they attract people Absolutely. to them. So you, And there are others who you don't even want to spend time with. I know, right? Regardless of you know, how, how they look physically, look physical, because yeah. whatever com mm. com what's coming out is... Mm. I mean, <laughs> very worried. Well, let's go through what we have on the day list yeah. today. Um, at GJ Awards, rise above partisanship. And it has a photo there of um, Portia Gabo, who wins the Journalist of the Year Award. Congrats to her. Position yourselves to benefit from $20 billion clim dollar climate fund. Jenna Pot tells developing countries. Um, as for us, dear... Whenever there's something coming on, it's like we are, yeah, ready to collect with cup in hand. Um, venture capital supports SMEs with 1.5 billion Ghana CDs. All right. That's it for the front page of the Daily Graphic. Now moving on to the Ghanaian Times. Um, at GJ Awards Night, support economic recovery plans. President tasks journalists three Chinese grad for allegedly murdering man at mining site. Hmm. Hosha Gabot named 2021 Journalist of the Year. CRI drag three teacher unions to court over strike. Jinapo John Kerry co-chair um, first ministerial meeting of Forest Climate Leaders Partnerships. Now that story can be found on page 17. <laughs> so let's just um, take a look at that. Okay. The Forest and Climate Leaders Partnership FCLP on Saturday held its first ministerial meeting in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, at the ongoing 27th session of the Conference of Parties, mm. that's COP27, of mm -hmm. the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The meeting, which was attended by 28 ministers from member countries of the FCLP and um, five observer countries, was co-chaired by the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Samuel A. Jinapo, and the United States Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, Senator John Kerry. FCLP is a new political firm that brings together governments and partners to work together to implement solutions that reduce forest loss, increase restoration, and support sustainable development. So the story goes on and on and on and on. Yeah. Not Ghana is co-chair. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, no, so I'm I... laughing because I'm laughing because uh, the person who is co-chair is struggling to deal with his own climate challenges and environmental challenges in this country. Yeah. 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 So, so I, I, that was I, what I was going to say that I don't know what the criteria is to select. choose um, a chair for yeah. The conference, yeah. you know, because when you look at Ghana co-chairing with U.S., yeah. you know, then that it looks like. So, what what are we trying to portray? Yeah. Is it the worst versus the best? You yeah. know, so <laughs> one can learn from the other, or so one can understand, you know, the oh, situation maybe, better. Maybe maybe is to be able to strike an average so that ours is not so bad and they are, they are not so far ahead. Maybe, that's what I'm maybe saying. That's that's so it, we yeah. can learn from yeah. each other, you yeah. know. So yeah. you understand what the situation <laughs> is in this maybe. side of the world, and then yeah. we can also pretty much learn yeah. how others have been able to, to do. do it. Well, I, I hope so, and I hope we learn. Yeah. Anyway, the back page of the Daily Graph has an interesting story, which I'm sure um, uh, Benjamin Ketia is going to get us into. Ghana to pull off surprise in Qatar. We, we are yeah. Surprise. We, we are Ghana to Hooray. pull off surprise. Yeah. I don't know, is this surprise bad or surprise good? I don't know which one. Yeah, um, usually when we say surprise, it's, uh, good. it's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the front page of the Chronicle has these headlines. Ningo ritual killers arrested. Uh, human head exhumed. Uh, you know, uh, okay. 
you can go and look at that story there and read it. A Sipon chief in court over a receipt of 3 million Ghana cities from Ghana Gas and Great Co. Okay, um, that story there. Gunshots at NDC elections. Yeah, and um, hmm, I, I, I just, I wonder when we will get to the point where we can have some of these um, events happen mm. you know without the excesses yeah. of these kinds of things you mm. know. Yeah. now moving on to the finder mm. child rights ucct nat nagrat says strike against gsdg infringes on rights of students and pupils mm. Jenna Port Kerry Co-Chair First Ministerial Meeting of Forest and Climate Leaders Partnership. Ecobank deepens financial literacy to drive inclusion. Portia Gabor is 2021 Journalist of the Year. All right. This, uh, the Crew Crusader guy has a very interesting um, headline here. Our Minister and the Cash Undercover. So this is actually an, a, a Rim Yao Anas's um, hmm. expose, which after various, you know, back and forth, it's going to happen, it's not going to happen, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. happen. We're changing venue. It's apparently, it's on today. It's happening tonight um, at the International Conference Center. And it has a photo of Charles Edubohan, Minister of State um, for Finance. Now, very interesting. Let me read the first, just as, like one sentence, not much hmm. uh, in there. Um, he's a Harvard, speaking of Charles Edouard, he's a Harvard trained don, deified and deemed devout, dependable, dynamic, down to earth, decisive, and a very definition of dexterity in economics and development. And it goes on and on and on with the D's. The D's look, it's, a, it's like three or four paragraphs. It just goes <laughs> on with the D's, 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 D's. Anyway, that story is there on page three and page ten of the New Crusading Guide. Well. Let's move to the BNFT. Mm -hmm. In Chakwa & Co, ORC hosts Users Forum on Companies Act, VCTF to deploy 1.5 billion Ghana cities to boost SMEs, uh, 1.5 billion cities to support SMEs in five years, 16 million cities deployed so far this year, 35, extra 35 million cities by close of 2022. Now in some telco news, unregistered SIM cards can't access data service from November 20. Well, we're still talking to the Stubborn Academy. So mm -hmm. if you decide that you're not going to do the need Full, I mean, you know what is happening. They are trying to serialize your punishment for you I as know, and when right. they deem right. fit. <laughs> now, DBG sets stage to meet SME's funding need. Um, there are sub um, type, um, topics down there as well. Now, Prudential appoints new chief executive officer for Africa and logistics managers index report for Ghana that's from April to June 2022. So, find details of these and more. And um, Okay, Gary appoints George Fosu as new CEO. Get details of these and more in the Business and Financial Times. All right. There's a few stories on the citynewsroom.com. Of yeah. course, you can go over there for all your authentic news. Um, if you want business news, citybusinessnews.com also is your portal to go to. Now, the closure of Twitter Africa office, unfortunate. Nanado is speaking there. How NDC delegates voted in the regional elections. Uh, Adekoka toppled as Ashimo wins Greater Accra uh, NDC chairmanship and Premier of Anas, Anas Galamse expose pr to proceed as AICC makes U-turn. Now, one thing I also find very interesting is mm. government to sell Saglemi housing project to yeah. private developer. <laughs> now, I think that one project that has really suffered, you yeah. know, in this country, it's a me yes. thousand projects. That's I mean, under everybody's hands. Upon the visits to the <clears> site, <throat> um, things were not done properly. Yeah. We we're going to change stuff and yeah. all that. Finally, this is where we are. Government mm. is selling Saglemi to um, a private developer. So quickly, for me, I think that whatever the situation is, yeah, that project mm. should not go waste. Yeah, it and shouldn't. For, it for, for whatever and maybe it's we worth, should stop calling it an affordable housing project because once it goes into private hands. Unless the private entity really is also looking at the same ideals of making it affordable. Well, I, I think that um, we, we, we may have to interrogate the details yeah, of this, you know, that yeah. what was the mm. um, deal going to be like? Yeah. Are we still giving it out to private developers just yeah. to continue the uh, plan of affordable mm. housing, you know, yeah. deal? Or yeah. 
We are selling it over to you. Do what you want to do. There's a couple of interesting stories on Ghana weekend before mm, we go for mm. sports. Italian embassy takes John Dumello to Mega Bologna uh, Agri Business Fair. Super. Uh, Sarkodie hits one million streams on Boomplay after the release of Jams. Yeah. One million in how many days? Just Friday to now. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Mm -hmm. And then Mona for Real was arrested on a flight from UK to Ghana. Well, hmm. the stories are out there. Go to Ghana Weekend and...